Hey everyone, good morning from Legend. Here coming at you from Disneyland, my favorite theme park on the planet. And today with our video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you the absolute best parts of Disneyland. Everything from the major e-tickets to the, the best food and snacks, the awesomest secrets to all the, the cool areas of the park, everything and anything I find neat. Disneyland, California Adventure, probably Trader Sam's, let's be real. And just wanted to show you guys around. This is wonderful, wonderful theme park. I've traveled all over the country and Disneyland is my favorite. I've been to just about every single theme park in America and to me, it's not even close. Like Disneyland, my favorite. There, there's something about it, amazing collection of rides. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys why I love this place so much in today's video. Just showing it off, really. Uh, all the wonderfulness that is Disneyland. And we're gonna start right about now with a shot down Main Street USA. One great part of Disneyland here is the Storybook Land, Mini Land in Fantasyland. Very traditional, very pretty. You've got both the PC Junior Circus Train and then the uh, Storybook Land Canal Boats. Behind the wall there is a whole miniature fairy tale land. And uh, just this screams like old school theme park and really, really pretty section of the park. We got the great waterfall ending over there. And it looks like, ah, baby ducks. Ah, oh, man, how do you make this thing even cuter? Baby ducks. at Disneyland, this one is by far my favorite, and that's of course New Orleans Square, a great place. You've got some fantastic restaurants like the Blue Bayou and Cafe Orleans, and you've got two of the best rides at Disneyland, the most classic rides at Disneyland, Pirates and Haunted Adventure. And just walking through here is awesome. It's, uh, I got to go to New Orleans uh, last year, two years ago, and it was fantastic. And this is just a wonderful place to walk around, really uh, transformative. Trans transport you to the land, I want to say. Well, there may be no stronger myth and legend in Disneyland than there is for Club 33. This is the old entrance to the, uh, the private members only club that you kind of pay like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to get into. Uh, something obviously I have never done here at the wonderful Disneyland. Something I love to do. Uh, if you got a, D20, uh, a Club 33 hookup, you know, let me know because I would love to get in on that. Over here is of course the new entrance to the club, which is the handle, of course 33 right there. And then you call to get in. Obviously, you see the secret code to the button here. All right, it's about 9.47 in the morning, so it's time to start eating here at Disneyland. And one of my favorite snacks, Mickey shaped beignets here from the Mint Jewel Bar. Kind of tucked away, you're sort of in the back of uh, French New Orleans Square, sort of in, in the back of the French market over by the train. So that sort of gives you an idea what this is. And then check it out. They're beignets, which are delicious anyway, shaped like Mickey Mouse. My favorite place to eat a meal it is the Blue Bayou restaurant. Right here on the river is the Paris the Caribbean. You go for lunch, you get the money, it's amazing. It's a really unique setting for me. Bigger thrill in all of Disneyland than 
multi-story fall down the log flume of Chicken Hill here at Splash Mountain. This ride. Lots of fun, but uh, definitely lives up to the name if you get rather wet. That's not bad, but look, look at my pants. Um, I have black pants. So look at this. Uh, Unacceptable amount of wetness. <laughs> fun ride, but that's uh. You really fly, though. Yeah. Oh, but my poor pants. <laughs> shirt. Oh, I'm never gonna dry off. This is a bad idea at 10 in the morning. David Dawn spinning around on the boat. Flash Belly. How about some of these statues out in front of the Hungry Bear Restaurant, beavers and bears. And of course, some pictures of the old guys from the Country Bear Jamboree. It's always great to have a ride with a little to no line. And one of those here at Disneyland is generally the many adventures of the pool in the back of the Twitter country. Hop on your beehive and go for a ride. Another great thing about Disneyland is the future of Disneyland, and of course I'm talking about Star Wars Land. Big Thunder Trail is closed, the rivers are closed, we changed around, but uh, Star Wars Land is coming. And you got a great view from Big Thunder Mountain over here of the construction, and man, this is a very, very impressive and giant scale project. Another little detail I just love here is in the fantasy fair. Figure on the bird on the roof, he wakes up, meows, and he sleeps. And the bird tweets like this. More snacks this time is over at Maurice's Treat where they have uh, these different twists. Garlic cheddar, chocolate strawberry. We went with the chocolate today. Molly, give it a whirl, see how it is. Here at Tyler's trying to spell it. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. Right now the Disneyland Railroad's closed because they gotta build Star Wars Land. But what's really neat, they let you come on in, you can come on in, take your pictures with the train, walk around, cross over the tracks and that kind of thing. And uh, one of my favorite parts of Disneyland is the railroad itself, especially going between Tomorrowland and Main Street, where you get to go through the, uh, the Grand Canyon diorama and the dinosaurs. Love that. So here this is the train. And uh, I guess you get to pull this lever, you get to blow an actual train whistle. So cool. Right now, hanging out on the Grizzly Peak airfield, getting ready to go on soaring over California. Of course, this will be soaring over California for about another three months in June. In two months, in June, it'll switch to soaring over the world. And uh, first time I've been to this section since they've redone it, it fits it much, much nicer than the old Condor Flats area. So, uh, well done, Disney, for really uh, stepping the game up here. Now, I'm excited because I've never done soaring in the HD digital stuff, so I'm going to go hop on that. Coming into Pacific Wharf is my absolute favorite entrance to coming into Cars Land. You get this wonderful reveal, and uh, while a lot of people go down the main drag with the big street from everything from the movies, uh, this is my favorite. This, I think, gives you the more of the wow moment. Uh, you've got the incredible rock work. And I, I just find it stunning. I love how the, the big archway sort of keeps everything out. And as you walk under the archway, it's just this wonderful reveal of the, uh, the Ornament Valley and the Cadillac Mountain Range. It's just awesome. Also, talking about this, you, you, the, Cars Land is the crown jewel here at California Adventure. And uh, it, it, it's got a fantastic ride. The Radiator Space Racer is phenomenal. It's got the really fun outdoor racing portion where somebody wins and somebody loses. But also, back there in the mountains, they have an incredible dark ride portion that goes inside. So it's, it's 
you know, an e-ticket e ride. It's my favorite ride in this park. Uh, my second favorite ride in all of Disneyland. So Cars Land and uh, Radio Springs Racers, phenomenal. All right, welcome to Cars Land, everybody. We're here on the main drag of Cars Land, which is fantastic. Um, if you're a fan of the films, it's really like they built the town from the movie, featuring all sorts of stuff. You've got, you know, Sarge's juice bar. That's uh, not Sarge's, that's, that's the other guy's. Sarge's surplus hunt. It's the, the hippie guy's juice bar. Flo's V8 Cafe, Luigi's Casa de la Tires, Ramon's. It's just a fantastic place. Without a doubt, my favorite place to get some snacks here at California Adventure is the Cozy Cone. And uh, my favorite booth, of course, is the Chili Cone Queso, which Molly's showing off here. Uh, cones come in bread cones, and they got four different choices. You can get a chili, you can get barbecue pulled pork, you can get chicken verde, or you can get bacon mac and cheese. Uh, one of the hardiest snacks at Disneyland, because of course you can eat the bread cone. Oh man, I love the Cozy Cone. I always come to this one. They also have ice cream cones, churros, uh, uh, one that says pretzels, <laughs> and then pop cone. So love the cozy cone. So the newest ride here at Disneyland or Disney Town, California Adventure, yeah. is the Luigi's Frolic and Roaster. So it's for the old flying tires ride. And it's a trackless dark ride, which is honestly kind of mesmerizing to watch. This one with dancing cars. Um, that's the thing I got to ride today. Uh, it, had a, uh, it was closed right at park opening when I was over in Carsland. And then the rest of the day is a 40 or 50 minute wait. But it's just, it, it's fantastic to watch. It's really kind of mesmerizing. Now, if you got to get something to eat and you want a meal here at California Adventure, you don't want to stand on quick service, well, there is no better choice than Flo's V8 Cafe. I love it. My choice, always, the beef and cheddar. But everything I've had here, everything's really good, including the desserts. Desserts are really good. They have like mud pie kind of stuff. And uh, the reason why I stopped in here now, check this out. Racer 5 IPA from Bear Republic on draft. It is that good. Another great part about Disneyland, ridiculous hats. Look at this thing. Molly, Molly's a tow truck now. A beer drinking tow truck. She's terribly embarrassed. Another big tour ride here at California Adventure is the Tower of Terror. And I'm just stopping here near Paradise Pier because the view is amazing. Um, I, I like the Florida version of the ride much, much better, but it, it is a little bit different here in California. And uh, from here, it looks awesome. So we are now in the Fix Fun Fair Bugs Land section of uh, California Adventure, which is not my favorite part of the park, but I do love the Heimlich Choo Choo Train uh, because it, it's just one of the greatest uses of puns in the world of theme parking. And just because it's adorable. I mean, come on. That is fantastic. <laughs> How could you not love the red car crawling? that runs down Buena Vista Street and Hollywood Land here at California Adventure. In my opinion, the main hidden gem of California Adventure is here in the animation building. We've got all sorts of really fun exhibits, you know, Turtle Talk, the Sorcerer's Workshop, you can meet Anna and Elsa or learn to draw a character. But I, I just love the lobby. Honestly, if there was a bar in this lobby, I would hang out for hours because it's wonderful. They switch from animated film to different animated film and song about every minute or two, and it's like the most peaceful and wonderful thing in the world. Well, unfortunately this ride is down right now. I do love Monsters Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue. It's really uh, one of the two true um, Disneyland classic dark rides here at California Adventure, and I really enjoy it. It's funky, it's wacky, it, it's very much in the Fantasyland style, so I enjoy it. Another fantastic thing about Disneyland, besides this awesome waterfall here at Grizzly Peak, is the seasonal events. We're here during the California Food and Wine Festival, but they also do lots of great stuff for Christmas and Halloween, uh, Lunar New Year, amongst other things. Food and Wine Festival, they have a whole bunch of different booths set up. You go and sample, you pick up different portions of food. Uh, really, really tasty stuff. 
They were very popular when it's Epcot over on the East Coast, and they sort of brought it over here. And uh, I really enjoyed this kind of thing, so I highly recommend this. They also do like celebrity chefs and, and beverage seminars and things like that too, so it's a fun event. Another simple favorite here while I'm at California Adventure, I love this section of the park over here in Pacific Wharf. I call it like Free Food Alley. You walk through the bakery tour here, you get your free sample of sourdough bread that's baked fresh. Then you swing across the street to GR Deli and you get samples of chocolate. A little, little treat here. So I'm a nerd, so I find the bakery tour neat besides just the free bread samples. You get this giant piece of dough right here. It's like, there's a person. There's a person, and there's how big the dough is. So you find a massive piece of dough. And uh, my background's in mechanical engineering, so I love machinery. You can see what all these different machines do. You know, this one that makes the dough all round. Got a big conveyor belt that heats it up. Fortunately, no break. Yeah, nothing they're going through right now, but the machinery is awesome. You get this one that makes it into a ball. Really, really cool. Spicy. You've got a little moving mural that's behind the counter here at GR Deli. Also, you've got some great buildings over here that you know, lights turn on and all sorts of things. Again, one of those simple things that's really neat. Another great thing about Disneyland and California Adventure, that while Disneyland does not sell alcohol, California Adventure is still seeing drills, including the Carl Strauss beer truck featuring handcrafted California beer. Gotta love that. Yeah, it fits in with the theme of uh, celebrating microbreweries, which is a big thing here in California. And hell, beer. Love this stuff. While we're talking about places to drink in California Adventure, my favorite is right here at the Cold Bar. Why. Look at these cocktails. Now I will say, the Cold Bar, they've got a great menu, but the best drinks are kind of off the menu. This guy right here, that's a fun meal. Named after the other. It's a black soul. There's like five to seven drinks on the secret menu. A lot of them are like variations of the Long Island, so they're super strong. So uh, definitely Google that, because these things are awesome. Now, something most theme parks have is Midway Games, but I love the ones on Paradise Pier here because they put a Disney spin to it and give you Disney prizes. So you've got, you know, Bullseye Stallion Stampede. You walk this way, you've got, you know, the big Casey at the Bat, Strike Toss. Moving on a little bit more, I love this. Timothy Mouse, the, the Dumbo game. And then, last but not least, Goofy About This. So straight up, this is the creepiest thing in all of Disneyland. So I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the Paradise Pier section of Disney's California Adventure, but the one ride I really enjoy is the Golden Zephyr. Uh, it, it's honestly a very much a throwback to, you know, the, uh, the pier side parks of days gone by. And the fact that they went and built one is awesome. I, I've gotten to ride this, and it's really kind of a nothing ride, but it's just, it's cool to be part of history, and I, I do appreciate that. Here at the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. Hey, come on. I'm not a kid anymore, but that is so much fun. The uh, entire rope swing, zip line kind of thing. Still in the Red Boutique Trail, I love this. This is Kino's Spirit Cave. Let's go find our, uh, what's my spirit animal? All right. Oh, great. I'm a squirrel. We're a swimming squirrel. Lovely. So I said I was a, a, uh, a squirrel. That's true. I'm much cooler. I'm a beaver. And I'm hardworking and industrious. More fun here at the Red Bull Peak Challenge Trail. They've got a, a nod to Humphrey the Bear from the old cartoons and showing what the fire hazard is from low to medium. So, hi! That's great, I love that. So right now, Grizzly River Run is closed for refurbishment, 
But another thing that I think is one of the best parts of Disneyland, I love this 20-foot bear they have with a light vest, lantern, and paddle as the entrance to the ride. I just think that's so cool. The great thing about California Adventure is that they have this side entrance to go into or out of the Grand Californian Hotel. And we're not staying there. We're gonna wander our way over to Trader Sam's right now. But you can just wander through the hotel, which is so much nicer than wandering to the main entrance. As the piano player here plays the theme from the Haunted Mansion, I wanna show off the lobby of the Grand Californian Hotel, which is spectacular in its own right. Even if you're not staying here, cool place to come in, hang out. They've got a great lounge over there. The, the Hearthstone Lounge is over there. It's just incredibly relaxing and spectacular. And celebrating the 60s. Out of everywhere here at the Disneyland Resort, the one place that probably brings me the most feeling of happiness is here at the Intruder. Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar here at the Disneyland Hotel. If you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of the Tiki Room and the Jungle Cruise and the old Adventures Club at Disney World. And I'm, I'm sitting here drinking a old recipe Kungaloo. Molly's having the new recipe Kungaloo, which they do not serve at our Trader Sam's. And it's so cool. They have effects if you order a beer or any of the specialty drinks. And as a guy that, that uh, you'd been in the Adventures Club at Disney World, I was there the night it closed down, and uh, as a youth fan, they have a lot of cool props, like slappies up there. That's the actual slapping. And then from Professor Otis T. Wren's tail, while looking for the Boulder Dash Cup, the sinking ship is behind the bar here. So whenever you order a, uh, I think it's swing in treasure or something like that, the ship in the bottle, it does sink just like it did at the club. And to me, as a, as a youth fan of the Adventure Club, that is amazing, and I love this place. So the Lego store here at Downtown Disney, pretty cool. You got a Toy Story, a giant Toy Story figure over there. You got a Beauty and the Beast figure, and it's really interesting because Beast looks like he's a normal Beast, but Bell is in Lego form. But then the creme de la creme, if you look inside, not the creme de la creme, you've got Genie hanging from the rafters, talking to you, Aladdin Jesmyn. But the, the best is on the outside, you have the Maleficent dragon battling Prince Philip. That is so cool. Honestly, one of the best and very best things about the Disneyland Resort is that in just about a minute and a half, you could walk from Disney's California Adventure to the happiest place on Earth, Disneyland. And that is fantastic. today, but I absolutely adore the Finding Nemo submarine voyage. It is about probably a 15, another 15 minute ride like Pirates of the Caribbean underwater in a real actual submarine, and I love it. You get to see some whole bunch of cool show scene kind of things once you go in this building, but even just in this lagoon alone, you get some spectacular vistas, so I am a huge fan of the subs and the Finding Nemo submarine voyage. You gotta love the Matterhorn. Not only a piece of Disneyland history opening in 1959, but a piece of roller coaster history. The first tubeless, I mean, the first tubular track to be a roller coaster. So important for all of us roller coaster geeks. And a wonderful ride for all of us Disneyland fans. 
One thing I really love is Disneyland's Fantasyland. It's really Disneyland's Fantasyland at night. You can hop on a whole bunch of different dark rides, small scale dark rides. If we just got off Mr. Toe, we probably waited 10 minutes or so. You probably get on Pinocchio with little to no weight, as well as uh, you know, Snow White with not much of a weight. Small scale dark rides, and I, I, I think those are some of the most fun rides. And I, I dig it. I dig it, man. Best part of Disneyland happens is the craziness, the zaniness, the wildness, the shenanigans. Best that is Mr. Toad's wild ride. Another awesome part of Disneyland is that you can actually walk through the castle. We're here in Sleeping Beauty's castle. You know, it looks like a castle, and it's got this great walkthrough. With, you know, small scenes based around the scene getting here. So this is something I really love here at Disneyland. They have the Sleeping Beauty Castle accessible experience. Especially the castle closed after 9-11 and then reopened the walkthrough I just showed you earlier. So they ended up with this room here, which is beautiful. It's got this throne. And then it plays you this video as you would sit on your throne. Because of course the castle is not handicap accessible. But this would be a simulator showing what it would be like to walk through the castle. I think this is fantastic. To save his daughter from Maleficent's curse. In the Penny Arcade on Main Street, all the way at the back, you find Pinocchio. Walt Disney Pinocchio, make him dance. Another one of these where you put a quarter in the slot. Cool fun. It's like an antique. But you gotta love it. A quick stop here at 21 Royal Street. We brings you this guy. And they've got a couple of these around the park. It's an old timey like fortune teller machine. Only a quarter. So drop it in there, Molly. Let's see what we got. Just like in the old time arcades and that kind of thing. He moves a little bit. His map lights up. You guys can see that. There you go. That's a better view of his map. He does play a little bit of the Pirates of the Caribbean song. Let's see. We got a fortune card, I think. There it is. Oh man, this is this is long. Fortune red, this has to say. Marungi B bewitching shores of Disneyland. Exhausted from struggling against the winds and currents. Oh, well, I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but you get the idea. You get an authentic Disneyland-style fortune card with a pirate on it. Well, my friends, thank you so much for watching this video. It's nighttime. We have been at Disneyland for <laughs> almost 16 hours now, and I figured it's about time to wrap up this video. As you can tell, I love this place, and there were so many different things that I did not even get into in this video. We didn't go on Indiana Jones, my favorite ride of all time out of any ride I've ever been on. Uh, we didn't talk about Haunted Mansion, we didn't talk about Hyperspace Mountain, all sorts of fun stuff, but uh, there's so much to see and do here. Obviously you can't do it all in one day. But I wanted to just finish up here. One of my favorite things about Disneyland, sort of embodies the heart of Disneyland, is that uh, 
uh, you know, Walt had his, a, his apartment above the firehouse on Main Street, and whenever he was in the park back when he was live, they, they kept the light on to sort of let people know that, hey, Walt Disney was in the park. Now, obviously, ever since he passed, they keep the light on every single night to sort of embody his spirits in the park, and I think that's so cool, and uh, it sort of just embodies the spirit of Disneyland. I want to thank you guys all for watching this video. Uh, as you can tell, I love this place. I hope that really came across in this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, you get a lot more content. Normally not this sappy, but it does happen. Good night from Disneyland.